Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have a very, very interesting story that was shared with me um, by one of my viewers. Um, I want to just uh, state what her caption was as well. Uh, her caption doesn't have anything to do with the story, but I thought it was an interesting um, take that she put on it. Thank you, Daria, for sharing the story. And her, her uh, caption says, they found out their Jesus was black. And so I just thought I wanted to um, input that in there because uh, the, the viewer that shared that made that statement. And um, it's interesting. I'm going to give my take on what uh, could possibly be happening here. But um, that was also a very interesting take on things. So um, it looks like 200 Bibles were set on fire outside of a church on Easter Sunday. And so that's something that's definitely going to grab some headlines uh, who is burning up Bibles outside of a church on Easter Sunday? So we know Easter is one of the favorite holidays of Christians uh, because they refuse to acknowledge the actual biblical feast days. Uh, they would rather do something different and use the Easter bunny instead of um, talking about what actually went down. Uh, they want to talk about Easter egg hunts and all of this kind of stuff and buying Easter baskets and Easter clothes and chocolate bunnies and the whole nine yards. Anyway, uh, let's get into the story. So it says, a MAGA pastor says 200 Bibles were set ablaze outside of his church on Easter Sunday. It says a trailer full of Bibles were dropped off and intentionally set on fire near the Global Vision Bible Church, according to local police. It says, uh, the church's far-right pastor denouncing it as a 100% deliberate act. Around 6 a.m. on Sunday, police and firefighters responded to a trailer fire at an intersection outside the Global Vision Bible Church in Mount Juliet, um, a city around 20 miles east of Nashville, um, according to the Wilson County Sheriff's Office. Firefighters promptly extinguished the blaze, and the Sheriff's Office said in a news release. Okay, so this took place in Tennessee, guys. It took place in Tennessee. That's uh, one of the, that's part of the Bible Belt, some people call it, you know. Uh, anyway, it says the trailer containing Bibles had been dropped off in the middle of the intersection and then intentionally set on fire, it said. No further details were immediately disclosed uh, with the sheriff's office citing the new, uh, I'm sorry, the need to uphold the integrity of the ongoing investigation. Uh, Pastor Greg Locke of Global Visions, um, the founder uh, and a self-professed social media firebrand, <laughs> uh, he took to Facebook and Instagram to share photos of the charred utility trailer holding dozens of burned Bibles. In a caption, he said that the church's security cameras had caught a man parking the trailer right in front of the church. Addressing his congregation at a live stream Easter service, Locke said that the culprit would be uh, getting in quite a deal of trouble soon. He said he didn't personally view the security footage yet, but went on to describe it. Uh, he's got his hazard lights on at 558 in the morning, the pastor said. I'm like, wow, here's the most polite crook <laughs> I've ever met in my whole life. I've never met, you know, polite Satanists. So I want to stop right there real quick. I noticed he said polite crook. Okay, the man... Um, what makes you think he's a crook? If anything, he's an arsonist. A crook is a, a person who steals, right? So did are you saying that he stole those from your church? Okay. Anyway, he said he called him a crook. And all he know at this point is that he is dropping off a trailer in the middle of the intersection. I just think it's interesting how they immediately label something before knowing what's really going on. So it goes on to say, and so he unhooks the trailer and douses it with gasoline, with fuel. And then there were probably 200 Bibles, Locke continued. I don't know where he got them. So you don't know where he got them, but you assume that he is a crook. 
Anyway, continuing on, um, it says the pastor said he had wanted to start passing out the scorched, bi the scorched uh, Bible pages, but the authorities had confiscated them as evidence. He claimed that the incident was being investigated as a hate crime and that the FBI was involved. Let me stop right there. So burning Bibles can be considered a hate crime, but you have a heart and, and there was no um, evidence of racial slurs, right? But they, they need the presence of a slur in order to label it as um, a hate crime when dealing with uh, something that happens to a so-called black person. They need to hear you say the word, right? Um, I know with notice with Nia Wilson, they, they were having a hard time trying to say that that's what it was, right? They want to hear you say something in word or something like that before they will label it as a hate crime. Isn't that something? We have to literally beg for them to put that on the table sometimes. But in the case of these Bibles, oh, you you already call into that. All right. Okay. Gotcha. America is definitely a Christian country. So anyway, uh, back to the article to finish it up. It says the Daily Beast has reached out to lock for more information. A spokesper spokesperson for the Wilson County Sheriff's Office did not immediately respond to request for a comment on Sunday. Um... Uh, the news station in Nashville reported that Sheriff Robert Bryan had said he had no doubt the Bibles were burned intentionally. Uh, we've had the people do things to our building. We've been vandalized a number of times, hence why uh, we have security. But never 200 Bibles being burned, Locke told the news station. That's a pretty rebellious statement towards the church. <laughs> well, I guess they're going to label this as some sort of Christian persecution. Um, anyway, um, an outspoken fan of Donald Trump um, who peppers his sermons with uh, denunciations of President Joe Biden and news media um, and crack-smoking, demon-possessed leftists. Oh, my goodness. Crack-smoking, huh? Why not cocaine? Yeah. So we know what you're all about. Uh, anyway, anyway, Locke is a controversial fig figure having drawn national headlines for his uh, vaccine skepticism, his anti-LGBTQ plus stunts and book burnings. Uh, he also, he has also locked horns with both neighbors and county authorities in the past over the noise from his rowdy late night services and construction projects. Global Vision has faced a number of vandalism incidents in recent years in 2020 ahead of a scheduled appearance by Trump loyalist Roger Stone. Uh, the church was tagged with the phrases repent and lock plus stone will burn in hell. The letters F.U. were sprayed on the pastor's pulpit. The next year, Locke said his cameras had caught more vandals attacking the church, painting F and U again on the pulpit and your lies cost lives on a wall wow whoo that's interesting so there are some people who have chimed in to this dude who think that he tells lies interesting continuing on with the article it says it was not immediately clear if any arrests were ever made for the alleged acts of vandalism uh, during his sunday sermon Locke framed the burning trailer as another warning shot, uh, the average church would be like, oh my goodness, they're coming against us. And I'm like, thank God they are. Thank God they are. He told his audience who cheered back at him. Wow. Okay. Uh, if you think that Christianity is not under attack more than ever before in the United States of America, you have been, you have not been paying attention. You need to get your head out of the sand he admonished, quit being lukewarm, quit being so passive aggressive and mombi pumbi and spiritually sissified. Oh my goodness. So here's, here's again, another anti-Christian thing. One guy said that, um, white Christians and white, um, you know, other people over there in the land are the same, right? So they think that America is anti-Christian. Other people think that um, the world is anti-them. Um, and uh, 
it's amazing how they want to make it seem as though that they are the ones under attack when um, we know that the tribe of Yahuda has been under attack in America for centuries. Centuries. But let you, yet you have these people who have hijacked our black history book and they're trying to make it their own. Now, my thinking, my thinking on the burning Bibles, again, um, if they have these incidents that have happened, uh, my thinking is this, that there are some people who are fed up with religious lies. I mean, that's what one of the people said. Fed up with religious lies. They can't even connect to the truth, right? Uh, they are so filled with H-A-T-E. They don't love the truth and they have pleasure in unrighteousness. That's what's going on. And a lot of people are getting fed up. This is why they said also here in America, a lot of people are getting to the point where they just, they're leaving the churches. They're leaving the religion of Christianity. They're leaving the Bible. Now, I will say this. The Bible did speak of a great falling away happening. And we do see a lot of people falling away from the faith. Um, Christianity, I'm just going to say, you know, uh, whatever on that. Because Christians have a long established history of hypocrisy, lies, um, persecution of people in Africa and so-called black people worldwide, cheating, stealing. They talk about will a man rob God, but they have robbed God by robbing his people. <laughs> you see, that's a whole other conversation. Let's talk about what you have done in robbing an identity of the Most High's people and assigning it to someone else, okay? Let's talk about how all of the support goes to other people who don't even, even accept Yahusha, the one who the world calls Jesus. So much of the truth is rejected by Christians, but yet they wanna say that um, they are being persecuted. Recently, I read something where they said Christians are being persecuted worldwide. They are the most persecuted group um, of religious folk ever. And uh, oh my goodness, I could talk on and on about this because when I look at the persecution of the Bible that it talks about for his people, that is happening. Undeniable. But you have people who wear Jesus shirts and they get teased in school and they will say, oh, we're being persecuted. It's like, get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway, y'all, I am done with this story. I want to go ahead and wrap this thing up. I want to wrap it up. I wanted to um, share the story that was shared with me. Thanks again to Daria for sharing this. And again, I like um, her take. She, her spin is that, um, you. let me see, let me go right to it. She says, they found out that their Jesus was black. Um, I thought that was some interesting humor to add uh, to the topic. Okay. Very, very interesting humor because the world is starting to spill the beans and say what the true identity of the Most High, Yahusha, and his people is. They're starting to talk about that and there are some folk who don't like it. Uh, the truth is what it is, whether you like it or not, the truth will always be. You can lie about it, you can try to rewrite history, but history cannot be rewritten. It can just be retold right? It can be embellished. Um, but what happened in history already happened and you can't change the story. Okay. Anyway, I'm done. Chop it up in the comment section. Um, as always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video family, I'm asking that you all will keep your head up and stay prayed up. Look up for our redemption draws nigh. Be blessed, family. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.